Welcome Gemini, I'm Rosa and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. These are going to be your guidance cards for the week of August 23rd through August 29th of 2021. So Jim and I were experiencing very intense full moon energy. This is the second full moon in Aquarius. The first full moon was last month at 1 degrees and this is the second full moon in August at 29 degrees. So one at the beginning and one at the end which very much causes the blue moon. The blue moon does have very intense energy. It's packed full of very emotional energy. So you're most likely feeling very emotional, very triggered. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to jump right in and see what is it that you're healing? What is it that you're releasing with this full moon? You have self-love. So that's awesome, Gemini. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on self-care. You're learning you can't pour from an empty cup. All right, Gemini, we're going to clarify and we're going to use the energy oracle. You have yin yang. So you're learning how to shift out of old energy so that you're able to make room for new energy. This is also telling me that there's something you're doing, Gemini, with self-love that's bringing you balance. All right, Gemini, let's use the Gilded Tarot for our main spread. Let's see if we can figure out what challenge or obstacle you're facing. You have Ace of Swords. So it's something new. It's about new clarity, new freedom, liberation. Ace of Swords says that you fought very hard. It's a victory. But you fought very hard for this new beginning. Lesson learned. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles says someone's going to bring you a message. It's going to have something to do with Pentacles, your worth, material things. This could be a job, a raise, some sort of promotion, something like that. Especially with that ace there. So outcome, you have the star. This is bringing you like bright hope for your future. It's a whole brand new you. That's why she's naked. All right, Gemini, let's use the witch's tarot to clarify. For the Ace of Swords, you have the Page of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning and it does have something to do with your worth. It could be material worth, but it could just be your sense of your value, what you have to offer the universe. Ace of Cups, so you're having lots of Aces, lots of beginnings, lots of newness. Ace of Cups could be a new relationship. Um, again, a new romantic cycle. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. So whatever this message is, this person is bringing Gemini, it's going to be a completion to a very painful life cycle. Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from it. It's possible I'm getting like someone's changed their mind about something. Outcome, the star, Five of Wands, training. You've been training. And the Hermit. Going within. I feel like that's what you've been doing and now you're going within. The Hermit is about a spiritual awakening. It's about becoming reclusive. The Five of Wands is about like arguments, people fighting, things are difficult. But I've recently learned these aren't swords, they're wands. For training. So Gemini, I feel like I'm talking to someone who was very focused on other people, um, gave a lot of themselves to others, and Spirit is giving you this new opportunity, this new beginning to this Ace of Cups. I don't feel like this is necessarily a new romantic cycle with another person. I think this is Spirit giving you the opportunity to focus on yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't help others if you don't take care of yourself first. 
I feel like the reason you were having to do this was so that you can complete some sort of painful, challenging life cycle. I don't think it was necessarily painful. I feel like it was just really challenging, especially with this five of wands. Um, it was just very difficult, but it was something you had to do to train. And now you're going to start spending time going within. Now you're going to start really discovering what your spiritual awakening means to you, Gemini. All right, Gemini, we're going to do guidance next. This is going to be Queen of the Moon Oracle and Magical Times together. And I do want to say that all the cards that we use in today's reading do have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. All right, these are going to be direct messages to you from Spirit about this situation. Manifestation. Your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Desire and belief are your power. This card has been coming out a lot. I think it's because of the Lionsgate portal. I know the Lionsgate portal is over, but those energies can very much linger. Fear. Releasing fear. So something held you back. Like you felt like you had to do these things for these other people. Rebirth. That's what's happening. No matter what happens, you can find new wings, rise from the past, accept the positive change that is coming. There's boundaries on the bottom, so spirits reminding you to make healthy boundaries and enforce them. Alright, Gemini, let's end it with a Moonology Oracle, and this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week just because we are in this blue moon. Communication is key. It's the new moon in Gemini. I do see the twins, so very much could be talking to someone on the journey. The end of a tough cycle approaches. It's the full moon in Capricorn. I feel like that's very much with that ten of swords. The end of a very tough cycle. Something was very challenging for you, Gemini. What do you need to release? That's what you're doing with this full moon. And I think what you're releasing is the need to do for others and not make room for yourself. On the bottom, you have the energy is gaining momentum, which is very much what is happening with this full moon. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.